Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Man DZ's Kanji Study Streams. We got told the vocabulary words from the JLPT N1 list. As always, if we see a new kanji today, we're going to write it down ten times while saying it out loud, and we'll go over its readings, its meanings, and how to remember it based on the radicals that make up the kanji. If we see a new word, but it's made a kanji we already know the meanings of, we're just going to go over the two meanings and how they come together to make their new kanji. Sometimes it doesn't work, and if you don't think my explanation is good enough, feel free to pick up your own. That's uh, always encouraged. Uh, we're going to write down these words with kanji we already know down three to five times. If you don't want to listen to me say these out loud and you just want some explanations, head on over to YouTube and you can skip ahead. And if you just want these word lists, head on over to Google Drive. Google Drive. Our first word of the day is sokumen. Soku on the left side for side and men on the right side for face. So the side face of something is its side, its flank or its profile. It can also be used like we use side in English, like she's got a mean side to her. Sokumen can also mean aspect or dimension of something in the same way that uh, we use side in English as well. Sokumen is side, flank, profile, or aspect. Sokumen. Sokumen desu. Sokumen is a side, flank, profile, aspect, or dimension. Sokumen. Sokumen is a side, flank, aspect, or dimension. Sokumen. The side face of something is its sokumen. Number two is honbun. Honbun, hon on the left side for one's own or intrinsic, and bun on the right side for a part of. So to do one's part is one's honbun. Honbun is one's duty or one's own part. Honbun. Honbun desu. Honbun. Honbun. Honbun desu. Today is our first instance of a homophone. Uh, today we have hombun, as in one's part or duty, and hombun, as in this sentence passage or the text of a book or letter. Hom, on the left side here, looking meaning book or, or um, kind of still intrinsic, and bun on the right side for a sentence or uh, a writing of some sort. So a hombun either means this sentence or passage, referring to the passage itself, or the text or main passage of a book or letter. Hombun, written with our kanji for sentences, is text. Hombun is text of something. Hombun. in the books text hombun hombun desu number 4 is atto teki atsu on the left side for pressure to in the center for falling over and teki on the right side for it's kind of the the suffix that makes things um an adjective if you will Atto teki. Let me double check this real quick. Atto teki means overwhelming, as in if you exerted pressure so that it fell over, it has overwhelmed you. It is overwhelming with atto teki. Applying pressure to the point of falling over. Atto teki. Atto teki. is overwhelming pressuring to the point of falling over like atto teki is overwhelming atto teki atto teki desu Atto 
圧倒的 is overwhelming. Number five is sokushin. Soku on the left side for、um, kind of pressing on or urging, and shin on the right side to,、uh, for continuing or progress. So sokushin, sokushin is pushing forward. To, I gotta change the music. This is messing me up. Give me a second here. Okay, moving right along. Soku shin. Soku on the left side for urging or demanding, and shin on the right side for progress. So if you urge forward progress of something, you are spurring it on. You're facilitating acceleration or acting as its promoter. Promotion itself is soku shin, or spurring on. Soku shin. Promotion, facilitating, or urging onward. Soku shin. Pressing forward or urging on. Sokushin. 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 Is pressing forward or spurring on promotion and acceleration. Number six is Sai Kin. Sai on the left side for thin or dainty, and Kin on the right side, our new kanji for a germ, fungus, or bacteria. Pronounced Kin as in Sai Kin, a thin or dainty germ or bacteria, which just means bacteria or, bacteria or bacterium. Made of the radicals for grass sitting over.、Um, this radical is actually、uh, grain in a barrel. Or in a container. In this case, I'm thinking about it like a cell or a germ. Because when you look at a germ under a microscope, it kind of does look like it's this container with a bunch of little tiny dots in it, like a, like a, like a barrel of grain would be. And I can see the growing hairs,、uh, like the cilia of the germ, being just like the growing of grass on it. So, Keen, this is, this is actually a picture of a, of a germ. Keen is a germ, fungus, or bacteria. The cilia or grass growing on the outside of this barrel with grain in it. Keen is a germ or bacteria. Keen is a germ bacteria. Keen is a germ or bacteria. Kin. Together with Sai on the left side, we have a dainty or thin germ or bacteria, which all of them are because they're little tiny things. Sai Kin is a germ or bacteria. Sai Kin. Number seven is kin ben. Kin on the left side, I think, for working or diligence in becoming. Darn. So kin on the left side for diligence and ben on the right side, again, for exertion. So if you show diligent exertion, you have kin ben, which is diligent or industrious. Kin ben. Kin ben is diligent or industrious. Kin ben des. Kinben. Diligent in your exertions or hardworking and industrious. Kinben desu. Diligent, industrious. Kinben. Kinben desu. Kinben. 
diligent or industrious. Diligently exerting pressure is diligent and industrious. Number eight is a shuku mei. Shuku on the left side for lodging and mei on the right side for your destiny. So I can kind of think of this as the destiny in which you are currently residing or lodging is your fate, destiny, or predestination. Your shuku mei. Shuku mei is the destiny under whose work roof you are currently lodging. Your shuku mei. Shuku mei. Your destiny or predestination. Kume. Kume is fate, destiny, or predestination. Kume. Kume desu. Kume da. Kume is your destiny or predestination. Number nine is mi chi. Mi is not yet or hitherto, and chi on the right side is to know. So something that you do not yet or hitherto know is something not yet known, unknown or strange. This one's a pretty uh, straightforward one-to-one -one translation. Mi chi, something you do not yet know. Mi chi. Mi chi. Something that is unknown. More strange. Michi desu. Michi. Nothing that is hitherto unknown or strange. Michi desu. Michi. Number 10 is hojiru from our kanji ho, joho, which is information, no ho, which is a report or news. Hojiru is our transitive verb for informing and reporting. Hojiru is to inform or report. Hojiru. Hojiru. Inform or report. Ojiru inform or report. Ojiru. Number 11 is moka. Moku on the left side for an eye and ka on the right side for underneath it. At present or now is literally underneath your eyes. What is right in front of you? Moka is at present or now or right under your eyes. Moka is at present now. Moka is at present or now. And finally, number 12 is zō. O on the right side for waru or bad, and nikumu on the left side for hatred. To hate someone is nikumu. Also pronounced zō. So zō o is hatred. Abhorrence, loathing, or detestation. Our noun for loathing is zō. Zō is hatred. Detest detestation or loathing. I always think of the Grinch when I think of that word, loathing. Zo is loathing. Zo is loathing. Zol is loathing. Zol this is hatred or loathing. Go back to the top, make sure we memorized all these. Well, not memorized, but we put them in 
little pins in our brain where the memorization is eventually going to go. Make sure you make flashcards and immerse yourself in Japanese. That's how you really learn. These, these lessons are helpful just to kind of introduce yourself to new words, but it's not going to help if you're not hearing it all the time and uh, using some flashcards. Our first word was a side, flank, profile, or aspect with a sokumen. Soku on the left side for side and men on the right side for face. One's duty or one's part is your hombun or your own part or portion. Hombun can also mean the a book's text or the text or passage of some writing. Overwhelming is atto teki. Atsu on the left side for pressure. O in the center for tipping or falling over. And teki on the right side for like like it's pressuring to fall over it's overwhelming promotion acceleration facilitation or spurring something on spurring something on is sokshin soku on the left side for urging or pressing and shin on the right side for advancing or continuing sokshin is pressing for advancement a bacterium or a germ is a saikin Sai on the left side, or thin and dainty, and keen on the right side with our cilia-covered barrel of grains, which is a germ or bacteria. Something that is someone that is diligent or industrious is kinben. Keen on the left side for diligence, and ben on the right side. Or exerting. Exerting diligence always is industrious or diligent. One's fate, destiny, or predestination is your shukume. Shuku on the left side for the lodge. And me on the right side for destiny. The lodge in which, in whose destiny you reside. Uh, as yet unknown, unknown or strange is michi. Mi on the left side for not yet. And she on the right side for known or knowledge. To inform or to report as a transitive verb is hojiru. Joho no ho. Hojiru. To inform or report of something. Uh, at present or now is moka. Moku on the left side for your eyes and ka on the right side for under them. Directly under them is at present. And finally, loathing, hatred, or abhorrence is ah. loathing, hatred, or abhorrence was zo 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 on the right side, zo on the left side for hatred, and o on the right side for bad. To have a bad hatred for someone is loathing. So, thanks for watching today, everybody. It was a rough one for me today. I'm a little sleep deprived and a little tired. I hope um, you're not quite in my predicament. And I hope you have a good night tonight. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita. I think my intonation is off when I don't get enough sleep. It's the weirdest.